All right, first of all, um, let's make sure you're on the right part. Um, so you should have two pages. You should have subtraction on this side, and you should have addition on the other side. So on this video, let's make sure we're talking about subtracting. Um, now, it may be helpful to look at adding first, um, but just the way the class is today, we're going to look at subtraction. Um, but don't sweat it too much. So what we're going to look at first is when we talk about subtraction, um, subtraction is one of those things where we really don't need it. Um, subtraction is really just a fancy way of doing addition. So what we're going to do is, when we see subtraction, we're going to change subtraction to addition. All right, and I'll explain that here in a second a little bit more. Um, but the idea is I want to take subtraction, and I, I really want to get rid of it. I mean, unless it's something simple like 9 minus 5, which you already know how to do, um, then we're going to go ahead and just switch subtraction to addition. So that way um, it, it doesn't have to be all these weird rules, and it, we can just get it back to being addition, and addition is a little more straightforward. But when we change subtraction to addition, what we're going to do is we're going to change the second number, the second number to the opposite all right, and the opposite, all that's going to mean if it's positive, it's going to switch to negative, and if it's negative, it's going to switch to positive. All right, so that's all it really does when I mean what we mean by opposite. So if I have a plus three, it's going to be a minus three or a negative three. If it's a um, negative four, then I'm going to switch to a positive four, um, and we'll see that a little bit later. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to have any other additional rules. We're just going to follow the addition rules. All right, so we're just going to follow the addition rules, um, which we'll learn in the other part of the notes. If you either, you've already, either already have seen it, um, or you'll see it here later on in class. All right, so if I see A minus B, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at A minus B, and I want to switch it. So I'm going to follow these rules up here, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to take minus, and I'm going to change it to a plus. All right, so I'm going to change subtraction to addition. I'm going to take the second number, which here ends up being B, and since it's a positive B, I'm going to change it to a negative B. And then A just stays the same. The first number always stays the same. The subtraction changes to addition, and the next number becomes its opposite. All right, so for a quick little example, uh, let's say I have um, 5 minus 9. Now, if you remember back to when you first learned about subtraction, this would never happen. We would never have a 5 minus 9 because the bigger number was always first. But it doesn't always work that way. And so what we're going to do is we're going to leave 5 alone, change subtraction to addition, and change 9 to its opposite, which ends up just being negative 9. And then we'll follow the addition rules later on. All right? Now, um, just to make it a little more complicated, what we're going to do is we're going to have here x minus y, w minus z, and y minus x. So we're going to say here's w, x, y, and z. So when we come to something like a, the first thing we want to do before we do anything else is we're just going to replace the variables with whatever's given up top. So when I see x, I'm just going to say x is 3, so I'm going to put a 3 right below it. I see a minus, I'm going to put a minus right below it. And then when I see y, y is negative 2, so I'm going to put negative 2. All right, so automatically what we're going to see when we see something like that, that should look weird to us. We should tell ourselves there's something that needs to change there. I don't want to see a minus negative. All right, so what's going to happen is I'm going to leave 3 by itself. Subtraction is going to change to addition. And a negative 2, like we said up here, a negative which is to a positive. So this negative 2 will become a positive 2. And this is just a fancy way of saying 3 plus 2, which is 5. Um, I know it's weird when you think of that because it's really hard to explain what a minus negative is. Um, but we'll try sometime in class to kind of show what that really means in real life. I think it would be too complicated for the video right now. Um, the best way I can explain to it is it's like you're taking away a debt. So imagine someone owes you $2. So it's negative 2. Or, or you owe someone $2, so it's negative 2. And they say, forget it, take it away. Take away the debt means you just went up $2. All right, so that may sound confusing. Don't worry about it if it is. Um, the big thing is when you see two negatives like that or a minus a negative right next to each other, they just become a plus. All right, so it'll take, it'll take some time. I'm sure you've seen it before, but like that. Um, so here's what I want you to do. Um, take about a minute and see if you can work on B and C 
and then um, I'll come back and I'll show you how to do those things. All right, so take about a minute on your own. You don't have to pause the video. Um, just work on it real quick. Talk to your groups for a second, and then about a minute you'll hear me start talking. So there's the timer. All right, you may not be done, but I'm, I'm not really that concerned with it. All right, so what's going to happen is this. We're just doing notes. So W minus Z, we know W is 5, so we're going to put 5, minus um, Z, which is negative 5. All right, so the W is 5, the minus comes down, the Z is negative 5. Now, this is one of those problems that if you're just not paying attention, you just really want to say 0. You say you see 5, you see a minus, you see a 5, and you want to say, oh, that's that's got to be 0. Um, but one of the things we're going to say, like we said before, anytime you see these two negatives or minus negative right next to each other, they're just going to become a plus. Remember, 5 stays the same, minus becomes a plus, this negative 5 becomes its opposite, so it's actually 5 plus 5, which is 10. All right, so imagine if we're talking about money, um, I have five dollars, right? And then I took away, or sorry, move back up a little bit. I owe someone five dollars, and they took that debt away, so I just have five dollars. All right, it gets kind of complicated. It's one of the most confusing things to talk about when it comes to math. But when you see those two things right there, they just become a plus, and it just becomes five plus five. All right, last one. I have y, which is negative two. Minus, because it's a minus, and x is 3. All right. Um, this is one of those, if you look at it right away, I'm down 2, and I'm taking away another 3. So I owe someone $2, and I'm losing 3 more, which means I'm going to be down 5. Um, if I look at a number line, all right, if I'm at negative 2 already, and say here's 0, um, I'm going to go subtract 3. I'm going to take it away. So I'm going to go 3 this way. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. So I'm going farther away from 0. I'm going more in debt. I'm going more um, negative. All right? um, then there's the rule. Negative 2 always stays the same. The first number stays the same. Minus becomes plus. 3 becomes its opposite. Makes that a negative 3. So this minus becomes a plus negative. All right, so I, I owe someone $2, I owe someone $3, or I'm at negative 2 and I go back 3. Either way, I end up being at negative 5. All right, so you'll see this a lot. We're, we're going to come back to this a whole bunch throughout the time, or the next couple of weeks, because this is one of the things that continues to get confusing. All right, so um, we'll probably switch groups here in a little bit, so kind of get your stuff together. And... Um, like I said, come back to this video anytime you get stuck with it. Um, go to the page, save it, do whatever, look at it a couple times just to see if it helps a little bit. All right, you guys take care.